Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got more little acts of decluttering for you. So if you haven't seen already, I have a TikTok series that is covering all the little acts of decluttering that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, so if you want to follow that for little snippets and daily habits, then do check that out. Um, it's going to be under the name of Declutter Your Life. And I find these are really helpful ways of creating daily habits to get into decluttering and to help you manage it in your own way. So it might be that there are some days, some activities that don't work for you if you don't have children, etc. But there are definitely going to be lots of different daily 15 minute activities that you could do that will help you create those daily habits. First step is to not let clothes pile up. It's a really difficult habit to break when you getting dressed at the end of the day that you can kind of throw the clothes either into a pile or on a chair on the side and they end up not getting put away. If you can get in the habit of just always putting away the clothes either into the laundry basket or back in the drawers or hangers then you will have a clear and ready space in the morning. Next up is to start small so choose a small area and focus on that only as you're decluttering for five to ten minutes don't have to start with a big area and try and tackle too much in one go. Next up is to try and get in the habit of putting uh, clean washing away straight away as soon as it's dried. So it can be tempting after it's been hung up to have it sat in a laundry basket, but what you can do is as soon as you get it dry, go straight to the rooms that it needs to be given to and make sure that they, the person that is in that room puts it away straight away. The next little act of decluttering is to go through shoes. Do you have any that are uncomfortable, that are worn through, that the soles might need replacing, or are they not ones that you can replace? Are they no longer fitting because your feet have grown, for example, for children? So that's quite common. Is it possible that you could donate them to somebody else? Next up is to get rid of duplicate photos. So this can easily be done on your phone as and when you take a group of pictures. So at the end of the day, have a look through the phone of any kind of event that you've been at and get rid of any photos that are similar but different. Try and get rid of those duplicates on a daily basis. It will just help you keep on top of it and keep the storage available on your phone or your device. Next up is to get rid of spare or duplicate electrical cables. So first of all you need to match up all the items that you have and then see which cables are left over. If you can't find a matching device for them or you've already got one for another device then you don't need the spare. Next up is to donate used cookbooks. The chances are that you get given cookbooks over the years and you'll try out some of the recipes and not all of them are for you. Try and make a note of your favourite recipes or see if you can find a way of looking it up online and then donating the cookbooks to somebody else. The next little act to decluttering is to go through your phone and delete any unused apps. So this is an easy one to do on a regular basis, maybe once a month. Just check that you're using the apps and if not, then uninstall them from your device. For any of the apps that are already pre-installed, you can disable them so that it reduces the amount of storage that it's taking up on your phone. The next little act of decluttering is to go underneath the bed and reduce the amount that you store there. So quite often people store big boxes that are kind of thin boxes and they fill them up and they store all the way underneath the bed. See if you can reduce the amount that you have there. Next up is sports equipment. Do you have any old rackets, nets or tennis balls etc? If you're not using them or not likely to use them, could you donate them to your local club or primary school or high school and they will make use of them. Next up is to declutter travel items. Do you have any suitcases or travel bags that you are no longer using or not likely to use? Could you donate them to somebody else or get into the habit of letting somebody else borrow them so you don't have to store them all the time? The next little act of decluttering is coats. Could you reduce the amount that you have? I know some people have a collection for winter and a collection for summer, etc. But could you reduce the amounts that you have? Maybe one big warm coat, one thin rain coat, maybe one decorative coat that is for special occasions. So you've got the full range, but not having duplicates of each one. Next up is to declutter underneath the sink. Could you reduce the amount of chemical products that you have there or use up some so that you don't have so much of a big collection underneath. The next little act of decluttering is to go through cups and beakers. Could you reduce the amount that you have so that you can keep on top of the washing up? And the last little act of decluttering is to go through window sills. Make sure all the surfaces are clear and clean and tidy. 
So for each section, make sure that you're really thorough and also fair to yourself and know that you have the power to create a clutter-free home. But to do so is gonna take time and effort and it's up to you how much you put into it. However, these little acts of decluttering are gonna help break it down so that it's smaller chunks and easier to manage. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have a go at these little acts of decluttering. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I shall see you soon for more videos on decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. Take care, bye.